What's up, Jacob here? We are on a lake today, bass fishing. I'm doing a little fun tournament with myself. I'm gonna try to get a 12 pound bag, five fish, have to be at least 12 inches. See if we can hit 12 pounds. This is a new lake for me. I'm excited to fish it regardless. I've heard there's a ton of bass in here. I have heard it's hard to get fish of size on this lake. So a 12 pound bag might be kind of hard, but we're shooting for it. The water's crystal clear. There's a ton of hydrilla lily pads and grass. So we're gonna get flipped. Let's get to it. All right, we're starting with a little black and blue jig. Now the water over where I am is super clear, so I switched over to a more natural colored jig. This is a nice wake. There we go. That's a bass. He seems decent. He's got me matted up. I don't know if I have him on still. I think I still got him. Oh, I just have him foul hooked. That's why he feels so big. <laughs> oh man, he felt like a giant. He's so small. It's just because I had him foul hooked. Well, bass. There was a giant wake swimming towards him though. All right, good news is he ate the black and blue. So that could be the color that's gonna work today. I started with the natural color just because the water here is so freaking clear but it looks like black and blue might be the move. So keep tossing this, see if we can get some more fish. There we go, there's another one. Oh, that was a big one, he popped off. That was a nice fish. Dang it. Dang it, man. That was a nice freaking fish. Oh. There's another. This one's not bad. Get on the boat. Let's go. He might be a two pounder. About in the same spot that last one was. There we go. Beautiful Florida bass right there. I think he'll be a little over a pound. We'll get a weigh on him. One seven. It's one pound. Seven right there. Get him back in the water. All right, let's get back after it. Seems like they're in the grass up here, so we're just gonna keep casting at this stuff. They've been absolutely hammering this black and blue jig. And it's almost always been on that first twitch right at the drop. Oh. Swimming this way. Not a big one. God, it's so beautiful being able to see them in the water. Oh, he just swam right into that hydrilla. <laughs> oh, popped off. Not mad about that one, he was small. I was just kind of enjoying watching him swim in the water to see what he did. And he had to right into the hydrilla and see how freaking clear this water is. So they seem to be in the grass, not the lily pads here. And when they hit, man, they freaking hammer it. I think I might have just eaten it. There we go. I thought I saw it get eaten. He's got me around a reed right now. Got him out. A little one pounder. I saw him eat it on the drop. That was so cool. Beautiful little bass. Measure him just for me getting my five pound limit sake or my five fish limit. Let that little buddy go. It's a little drop right off the lily pad. I think I just got eaten again. There we go, there's another. 
Here's a smaller guy. He probably won't even get weighed. Yeah, he's only 10 inches. Just toss him back. Well, we're finding fish. Let's see if there's any more in this area. Got eaten. There we go. I think he popped off. Yeah, he popped off. Dang. Broke my bait too. Oh yeah, that's actually a good fish, holy crap. He might be two pounds. All right, that camera was rolling. This camera was not rolling. Awkward hook set on that fish. <laughs> he ate me in the middle of the open, which I was not expecting. And he freaking crushed it. Beautiful bass, right there. Probably a pound and a half. He's a super long fish, he's just not very thick. He is another 1.7. All right, let's get him back in the water as well. Beautiful fish. He's off. Let's go. That's two, almost two pounders already. We still got plenty of time to fish. I love the Kraken Crawls. If I had to choose a beef, my one beef is durability. Those tails don't seem to stay on very well. They seem to rip quite a bit, but the baits work. I haven't seen what kind of size it is yet. Not a big one. No way though, it's 12 inches, 0.9. That point nine could help. No, oh, there we go. He's about a pound and a half. He'll help. But it has been a minute since we've caught a fish. And he choked it too. Beautiful little bass. Get a weight on homeboy. He is one too. Get him back on his way. Nice and quiet. Not nice and quiet. Oh, he popped off. He was swimming right at me. That seemed like a good fish because he freaking thumped it. I don't think I ever let him pick it up. All right, we're going to end the day fishing this absolutely beautiful canal. This is honestly one of the most beautiful canals I've ever driven down. So I wanted to save this for the end, see if we can catch some fish on the way back through this beautiful canal. Decent one. Head down, buddy. Head down. All right, we're gonna try to flip him in the boat. There we go. That's a chunk. That is a chunk right there. We just got in this canal. That's a nice bass right there. He might be pushing twos. 2.1. All right, we got our two pounder. Just pulled into this canal and got this two pound bass right here. Beautiful fish. So stoked about that. And we still got the whole canal to fish. I'm, I'm pretty dang stoked. Two pounds added to the bag. We're getting closer to that 12 pound, 12 pound bag. We're getting there. There we go. Not a big one, but I think he'll improve my 0.9. He might improve my 
into the ones. Appreciate you for improving my weight. 1.15. All right, my current bag right now, if you can see that, is an 8.05. My lowest being the one we just caught, a 1.15. I'm still gonna fish slow as I can down this canal on the edges, trying to see if we can upgrade these bass. Still have to upgrade a few of those to get to our 12 pound mark, but I'm gonna grind it out. Still got a little bit of daylight left. See if we can improve this bag. I got pants. Oh, that felt good. I just lost what I think was a pretty good fish. All right, that's gonna do it for today. He didn't whack any giant fish, but we got quite a bit. So it's been honestly a lot of fun learning bass fishing. It's completely different. Sort of grew up, the only bass fishing I ever really did was pond fishing. And I definitely would say I've caught bigger fish in ponds for sure, but it just feels so much more rewarding catching these bass on lakes and in rivers and stuff. So I'm stoked to be learning it. If you made it this far, I appreciate you for watching. We got a bass tournament coming up Saturday. I'm fishing with Lawson and one of my friends. So that should be a ton of fun. That's why I've been doing a lot of this fishing, practicing for that. So we'll see how it goes. It's on a very, very tough lake. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty stoked on it. Appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. I just hooked up a really big fish on a swim jig. Please tell me he's still on. Oh, I think he got me off. No, he's still on, he's still on. No, he just popped off. He just broke me off. That's like a six, seven pounder. Dude. Man, that's depressing.